Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tara Arnold. Tonight I'm going to be channeling Ascended Masters St. Germain and the Ascended Masters and I've asked them if they could tell us how quantum jumping and moving into parallel timelines can help us to create our own reality, how it can help us to create abundance. And so we'll see what they have to say. And I want to say welcome to anyone who's new to this channel. We'd love to hear where you're from. Put it in the comment section below. Say hello. We'd love to hear from you. And I will get started. We'll see you at the end. Oh, yes. Welcome. I'm St. Germain. We welcome you. What a beautiful day with you in it. We would say you are all awakening to who, remembering who you are as consciousness. This is a glorious day to celebrate, to move into the next level of the game. What level are you at? Ah, I came to planet Earth and I'm playing the games of polarities and I'm creating an illusion of an imprisonment so that I can experience the polarity of what I am. You are consciousness which is divine light, and you are here to experience the polarity of that in fear. Ah, what is this game and how can I master it? Ah, this is the key. What are we going to do to master these aspects which we see that we are imprisoned? Uh, some of you, it is with wealth, you believe that you are in a prison of poverty, or some of you, it is your health or your physical body. You are in a, a prison of being in the wrong body, the wrong gender, or being in a body that is full of Id illness. Or some of you are feeling like a prisoner of loneliness, and you have created a, a life of loneliness, not being able to find a partner or finding that love within yourself to master the loneliness. This is the key. You must master the aspects of your polarity. Ah, what aspects? The polarities of fear. If I am wanting to be wealthy, I must first master poverty. Explore this. Explore every aspect of where you are feeling uncomfortable within that. Where am I feeling uncomfortable within poverty? Allow the emotions to come up. If you cannot pay your bill, use this as a time to be present. Use it as a time to transmute those fears back to love. This is what the spirit wants to do on planet Earth. It is here to expand one's consciousness and it must transmute dark back to light in order for it to expand. The universe is bringing to you the gift of poverty, but you're not seeing it as a gift. You're saying something is happening to me, not for me. If you begin to see it as something's happening for you, then you will have the power to change it. We have mentioned this before. You must first master poverty in order to have wealth. You must first master loneliness in order to have love, and you must first master illness in order to have good health. Ah, how would I master this, Saint Germain? How would I master these frequencies? And we would say, allow them to come to the surface by simply observing them. Observe them with your consciousness instead of attaching to them with your ego. When the panic and fear arises, when you cannot pay your bill, there is um, an attachment to the ego and you cannot transmute from the ego. You must come to the now moment and allow and observe the emotions to come to the surface and you will instantly transmute them back to love with your consciousness. This is mastering each frequency. How uncomfortable is it making me feel? Can you feel it in your chakra system when you cannot pay your bill and the panic arises? What chakra area are you feeling it in? This is the area to focus on. What does it need? If it is in the lower chakras, it, there is insecurity or um, feelings of jealousy. If it is in the sacral chakra, there may be feelings of powerlessness. If it is in the solar plexus, there may be feelings of insecurities. If it is in the root chakra, this is what we are saying to go deeper and explore and observe, create situations in your reality that you can observe. Ah, what does it feel like when I pay my bills? Ah, is that uncomfortable? How did it feel? I just paid a bill. I will check into my chakra system. I will do this in meditation or go into a quiet space and feel how it felt when I paid that bill. Did I panic that everyone wants my money and did I get angry about it? Or was I willing to let it go with ease? When I paid the bill, did I give it gratitude?
Or did I resist it? Was I angry that I had to pay it? Did I believe the bill owed me instead of me owing the bill? There are so many areas where in which you have not yet mastered the frequencies of the polarity of that which you are. Uh, of simply observe and surround the, the emotion with your consciousness in a visualization. Observe and surround it with a visualization by expanding one's consciousness out as if it is a bright light coming from the center of you and wrap that light around the emotion. If you have a difficult time with visualization, use something outside of yourself like a teddy bear or a doll. Now surround that doll or teddy bear or the emotion in your visualization, surround it with your light and it will instantly transmute. Now go pay another bill. How did it feel this time? Is there another layer? Did it feel comfortable paying the bills? Did it feel comfortable when I allowed money to flow freely from me and gave it gratitude when I paid the bill? Because money comes in and out, it flows. It has consciousness within it and it has no resistance. It is only your ego that is resistance, resisting the flow the flow of love or good health. This is the same. Use this exercise in areas of health or love as well. Surround the one who feels lonely with your consciousness. Do this in a visualization or get a doll and surround that with love. It is all the intention. It is what the subconscious is being programmed that it is no longer afraid. It is no longer afraid of these emotions. When these panic and fears come up that you can't pay the bills or that someone stole your money or that you don't have enough or that you have luck, lack, that you have lack, then there is a panic and fear and you are back in your head. You are back into the ego consciousness and you cannot master the frequencies. We would say to observe the ego as it floats by, but do not attach to it. Allow the emotions to come up. Allow the uncomfortableness to come up and surround it with your light. We would recommend mastering this first before you begin quantum jumping or going into parallel timelines. What is quantum jumping? Your spiritual body's consciousness goes into another dimension. There are 10 dimensions on planet Earth that you have created in your reality, but you have access to five of them. You are in a third dimension physical body, so you have access to the third dimension at all times. This is the ego consciousness. To quantum jump into a fifth dimension reality, it isn't a place that you are going. It is a state of consciousness. So it is simply a movement from one energy form to another with your visualization. This is all that is required. I will visualize being in my third dimension reality and move into a fifth dimension reality by stating so. I will do this in a visualization and it will be so. It will be true in my reality. I will command. I will command my third dimension aspect to be in the now moment. This moves me instantly into a fifth dimension aspect. Being in the present moment is fifth dimension. There is no past there. There is no future there. If you are in the past or the future, you are in the ego consciousness. Quantum jump into the fifth dimension before moving into a parallel timeline. The parallel timelines are that every decision that you make, there's another decision that gets unfolded into another timeline, but this is in the third dimension. So as you begin to create abundance in your reality, you first master the, the opposite of that, the poverty, the loneliness, or the illness whichever area you are having blocks in, then you would begin to quantum jump by visualizing moving into the now moment. Ah, oh, this puts you into fifth dimension. There is always two aspects of you. There are two aspects of everything on planet Earth. There is one aspect of you vibrating in third dimension at all times and one aspect of you vibrating in fifth dimension at all times. You are simply changing your energy frequency to move from third dimension to fifth dimension using spiritual alchemy. You are all spiritual alchemists. Command this to be so in your reality and you create that which you seek. 
Uh, I am commanding. And when I command, I evoke the God within me to create my reality. So I command that I move from a third dimension perspective into a fifth dimension perspective. Once I am in a fifth dimension perspective, I have quantum jump to the fifth dimension. I will now move my fifth dimension aspect into another third dimension timeline where I have perfect health. Another third dimension timeline where I am wealthy. I will move my fifth dimension aspect to a timeline where I am surrounded by love and I am no longer feeling lonely. You are moving in to another timeline, but yet it is in the third dimension. Every time you make a decision, the other de decision gets unfolded into another timeline. You are all frequency, you are all energy, and you are unfolding into other timelines. Yet this is the only timeline in 2023 on planet Earth in third dimension that you are conscious of. You are consciously aware that you are in this timeline at this moment. So become consciously aware of moving into a fifth dimension perspective simply by stating it, simply by visualizing it, simply by knowing it. Know this without a doubt and it would be true in your reality. If you are doubting it, if you are questioning it, then you will go back into the ego because the ego consciousness is where you have doubts and questions. Move into the fifth dimension and command it to be so, and it will be so. Once in the fifth dimension, we would recommend to place your hands in this structure in the form of the Trinity. This will give you an equal balance of the yin and yang and consciousness. It connects all so that you are in perfect alignment, in perfect balance with the universe. One side of the triangle is the yin. The other, another side of the triangle is the yang. And the third side of the triangle connects both in equal balance to a state of consciousness of divine love in fifth dimension. Now that you are in your visualization of being in fifth dimension and you are sitting with the form of the Trinity within your hands, you are now in the now moment. You are not in the past or the pre future. You are in the now moment. This is where we would say to create from there. Go into a timeline from there that you have received a lottery win or a new job or abundance or your bills are paid or you have good health or you meet your soulmate. You are putting the intention that you will move into a timeline of that which you seek, but you are moving into it with a fifth dimension aspect and creating from there. Once you get there in your visualization, it is your intention. Do not doubt this. I am moving into the timeline where I have perfect health. And while I am there, I will command in my reality that every cell in my body heal. I will command in my reality that my higher self and the ascended masters transmute all frequencies in my body for perfect health. I will go into a timeline where my body is feeling good. And I am running through the fields and I have so much energy and I am beautiful in all aspects and I feel good and my joints feel light and my bones feel comfortable and my muscles are loose and comfortable. My human costume will fit better in this parallel timeline. You are moving your fifth dimension aspect into a parallel timeline. Then you are commanding what you wish to create in your reality because you are all that is. You are consciousness. You are God. You are source energy. But many of you are seeing yourself as less than this. You must see yourself as this. You must see yourself as we see ourselves.
We do not question our greatness, but yet you question your greatness. You must know without a doubt. In order to create your reality, you must know that you have the power to do this. Do not doubt it. Move into the timeline of that which you wish to create in your reality. This exists. The abundance is already there. It is only that the curtain is shut. You are opening the curtain. Everything that you ever wanted or wished for in your reality is already existing. It already exists as vibration in the universe. Therefore, you have access to it. You are stepping into this timeline in which everything that you desire is already there. And then you are commanding it to be so in your reality, in your third dimension ti timeline on planet Earth in the year 2023. Step into the fifth dimension, then step into the third dimension timeline where you wish to create, and then visualize it. Spend a few minutes doing this, and it will begin vibrating and collapsing back into your third dimension as you return back into your human body on planet Earth in the year 2023. Again, this is only a visualization. Your thoughts are energy. You are doing spiritual alchemy when you move from your third dimension reality into a fifth dimension reality. And then you are doing spiritual alchemy again when you move your fifth dimension perspective into a third dimension timeline of what you desire. We would say to do one item at a time uh, so that your subconscious is not getting confusion with the message. We would recommend that you lighten up with these exercises. These are visualizations and they're meant to be fun. If you are so serious, then it takes you back to the ego consciousness of being serious. If you are saying, I didn't do it right, or how can I get this perfect? I, what if I get it wrong? It takes you back to third dimension. Do not think. Instead, float. Float into the timelines. Float into the fifth dimension. And be relaxed. Have a laugh. Be present. Have fun. You are remembering how to do spiritual alchemy. You are remembering how to manifest and create abundance in your reality. How long do I visualize? We would say, use your intuition. Ah, I will visualize this until my intuition tells me that it is done. This is that some of you will spend five minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes or two minutes. It is always up to your intuition. Have fun with this. There is nothing I have to do. Once I visualize it, I let it go and I release it to the universe because you are blocking it if you try to control the outcome. This is where most of you have a hiccup. It is letting it go. How do I visualize something and then let it go? We would say it is similar to not caring, not caring about the outcome, not being attached to the outcome. Command that you let go of all attachments to the outcome. But not only command it, know it, believe it, know it without a doubt. Release it, release it to the universe. I have gone in and done the visualization and I have commanded this to be so in my reality. And now I will let go of it. I will release it to God, to the universe, to source energy. I will release it to the creator of all that is. When you do this visualization, it is your consciousness connecting to the consciousness of all because you have moved in to a fifth dimension aspect of yourself. And this is where you are connecting with the Christ consciousness or God or creator, source energy, whatever terminology you use, you are creating from there. Once you release it to the universe, then come back into your third dimension reality.
on planet Earth with a simple visualization. I will fly back into my body on planet Earth in the year 2023 and I will fully integrate back into my human body. I will ground myself, fully integrate into my human body with a visualization of seeing a ball of light floating back, entering my crown chakra and fully integrating into my abdomen. Now take this ball of light in the center of your abdomen and expand it outwards. You have now have your full essence. You are in the now moment back in your third dimension timeline. Then come out of your meditative state or your visualization and let it go. Do not keep focusing on it. You have gone and you have created your reality and come back. You may want to repeat the process based on your intuition. Once you have done this visualization enough times, you will intuitively feel when to stop. It won't feel like it makes sense anymore to do any more visualizations. This is when you know, you'll know that you're, you have mastered all the frequencies that you needed to, and your visualization is now ready to come into fruitation into your third dimension reality on planet Earth. So we would say that is when you stop visualizing. You would not need to do that exercise anymore. This is all based on your intuition. Go within, not without. How does this feel? How does this process feel? Am I enjoying it? Can I have fun with this? Can I create my reality? We would say, yes, you can. Oh, we are excited for your journey. Blessings.